Hello everyone, I'm Toto Yota and welcome to another short battle format. This time featuring Tuan, who's playing Lizardman, and Timo, who's playing the Ogre Kingdoms. In this format, we are not recording the roles and we only have the end of turn summaries of both players. So without further ado, let's see which of these two generals have the stronger bite of the two. Welcome ladies and gentle nerds. Today another battle report. This time Ogre Kingdom versus the Lizardman. Let's go through the deployment. On the Ogre side, we have two units of four Mornfang. Um, on this side, the Mornfang have uh, Iron Fist, Heavy Armor and the Razor Standard. These, one have, these ones have the Cannibal Totem, Heavy Armor and Heavy Weapons. Here we have a Giant. One unit of two Lead Belchers with a Champion. One unit of five Iron Guts uh, naked. One unit of twenty. Oh, they are naked. <laughs> one unit of twenty Noblas naked. Uh, one slaughtermaster uh, battle magic. Uh, he has a grud sickle and the ruby ring of ruin. He rolled fireball, pillar of flame, uh, arcane urgency, and we took control guts. Uh, one naked unit of three um, bulls. Naked unit of five iron guts, and finally one uh, giant. Yes. Okay, let the hammer stand, Warhammer nerds. Today we have my side against uh, Timo's side, uh, of course, Lizardman. Uh, I've already done the movement here, that's the only one I did the movement for. But these are jungle swarms. So they have uh, Vanguard, immune to psychology, uh, unbreakable, etc. So a nice stopping unit. Then here we have my Skink Priest who has battle magic and lore familiar. With the lore familiar, he has chosen. Fireball and let me have a quick look, Pillar of Fire as the uh, magic options. Here we have a regular Stegadon um, with the giant bow equipped on it. This is uh, my, um, <laughs> yeah well, he, he should be floating, uh, but this is my Aslan uh, Mage. And he has, let me see, a discipline of the old one that is called... Uh, becoming Recognition, which allows a 1d6 uh, wizardly dispel and a dispel range increase of 3 inch. Then we have here the Temple Guards, of course, uh, tr true warriors and true supporters of the Slam Mage. We have here a Bastilladon with the Thunderous Bludgeon Solar Engine. Uh, here a um, Scar of uh, an old Scar Veteran. Scar Veteran, yes. Uh, exactly mounted on the Carnosaur uh, with a um, with 5 plus ward save item. That is my protection. Yes, I get, uh, indeed. Uh, these are my uh, Saurus Warriors. They have Speared and have a Shield Wall as well. Uh, by the way, the Temple Guards and the Saurus Warriors both have a champion. And uh, these have a musician as well, the Saurus Warriors. And here, uh, my Scout Skirmishers deployed on this side here. Here's a quick overview. Right, turn one of the Lizardmen. A lot has happened already. Um, so, like I already mentioned last turn, Jungle Swarms have moved, moved over here. Um, this is a uh, Monsoon that is, ha has been cast over here. Um, Pillar of Flame has been cast over here. Uh, we have done some shooting with the Stegadon but was unsuccessful. We did cast the Shield of Safari though successfully. Then we have moved, marched uh, the Temple Guards and the uh, Saurus Warriors forward. We have moved the Bastilladon forward. Bastilladon has done uh, nice shooting damage on the um, uh, Lead Belchers as well as with, uh, let me see, uh, Fireball. They are gone, uh, so that's good. Uh, we have moved the corner sour up here so um, that they move towards the forest. Uh, we have moved the skink skirmishes over here and have done some unsuccessful shooting on the giants. So that's so far turn one. End of ogre turn one. Let's go through it. Obviously in ogre fashion uh, a lot of my army moved forward as far as they could. Uh, some dangerous terrain tests were taken. Uh, we didn't mention this, but the purple or pink uh, over here, we were playing as a swamp. Uh, I took one wound on the dangerous terrain, no wounds here. Um, Mornfang are making ready. Uh, this Mornfang did some combat with the swarm, who gave ground, we did not chase. Did in total uh, 13 wounds, meaning the swarm survived on two. 
It has unbreakable, so they only give ground. Okay. Uh, giant moves up, Iron Goods. Uh, Guts move up. Um, did some fireball uh, for that Skinks. Everything moves up. The March Formation Bulls are trying to uh, be a roadblock over here. Uh, Troll Guts successfully cast on the Giant over here. And that's it for Ogre Turn 1. Okay, everyone. Hi. Um, turn 2 of the Lizardmen. Let's get into it. Uh, a bit of an uneventful turn, but uh, yeah, we'll see how it went. So first here, uh, I've casted Monsoon, just to have the potential ability to hopefully uh, block a bit of the, yeah, of, of the charge that's upcoming, so dangerous movement. You know, they don't mind. <laughs> we'll start on the left, move to the right, from my angle at least. I've casted Monsoon here. Um, it's a bit of an uneventful <laughs> turn actually, but we'll get into it uh, in a moment. I've cast it Monsoon to hopefully uh, add a dangerous terrain block to their charge that's upcoming. I've charged with the jungle swarms and my Stagadon into the Mornfang unit. Uh, so uh, I lost the combat with one. Uh, so I actually did only the one damage because I believe he regenerated three of the yeah. damages I did. Uh, two, two, one, one. two, yeah. two so wounds of one, the damages. One actual wound, but three combat yeah. rats. So my jungle swarms, uh, they only had two remaining lives, they are dead. Um, I received three, da three wounds on the uh, Stegodon. Furthermore, um, yeah, my um, <laughs> priest has moved into this direction, <laughs> uh, has caused <coughs> some magic unsuccessfully, uh, unfortunately. Slon Mage um, has uh, gone over here, um, has also cast some spells, I believe, unsuccessfully. Have I even done anything with magic? Anyway, doesn't matter. Mon Monsoon. Oh, yeah. Monsoon and, in the, uh, and Pillar of Fire, I did that over here. So uh, at the start of the next turn, that will actually be, be a bit nice. Uh, Temple Guards have uh, marched over here. So they marched forward. Uh, this, uh, the, the Basilidon has moved forward, has done some unsuccessful shooting. Uh, then uh, I've uh, won combat signific significantly with the Ogre Bulls. Uh, so two of the units uh, have uh, died. So that's nice. Uh, they, I believe, fall, fell, fell back, back, in, good fell back in good order. I rolled six, you rolled four. Yes, uh, four. and I rolled, uh, yeah, rolled four, exactly. Then uh, we have the Iron Guts uh, still over here. Um, yeah, I've moved my um, Karnasauer to hopefully do some nice... Out of the jungle. Out of the jungle, hopefully to do some nice things in the next turn. And some unsuccessful shooting with the Skinks to finish it off. So that was my turn. Uh, so turn two, Ogres. Well, the landscape has changed a lot. Uh, let's do a little bit of explaining. Uh, the four Mornfang over here um, and the four Mornfang over here charged into the Stagadon that uh, gave ground. Uh, needless to say, that ended very quickly. Uh, then over here, uh, the combat was was right here first. The Iron Guts, the Giant, they did a couple of attacks. Uh, the front line, the, what are they called? The Temple Guard was wiped out. They lost combat, gave ground, moved back. Um, over here, these Iron Guts, the One Bull and the Giant, did some combat into the Saurus Warriors. I think they did like seven wounds in total. Um, Nine wounds, I believe. Nine wounds in total. They did, you didn't do any wounds back, I believe. Yes, I did. On the Iron Guts. Okay. How many? I believe it was two or one. One or two. Okay. Uh, so, but they lost. They gave ground. Two so that's, wounds. So that's that. Okay. So now we have to do this. Uh, in, indeed, that means more or less that we didn't. Okay. Um, yeah, basically, it's probably not not looking all too good for. Lizardman at this point, nope. but the Carnosaurus has a chance for a counter attack. We shall find out. Turn uh, for uh, three by the Lizardman. Let's go through it quickly. Vestilidon made a charge into the Iron Guts. So the Iron Guts, uh, some of the Temple Guard and the Giant and the Vestilidon were in combat. Um, the Iron Guts were utterly destroyed. An overrun was made. 
giant uh, chilled in the back. The scout skirmishers were not successful in shooting any wounds onto the slaughter master. As well the pillar of flame. Neither was the pillar of flame. Yeah. Over here, um, well, he, uh, this is where the decision was made to terminate the game. Um, the giant uh, got three wounds, uh, regenerated two of them. However, the giant uh, rolled a five, which is minus four AP and a 10 strength attack. He did it in the back on, oh, on this uh, this guy over here. Um, managed to get his wound through, uh, D6 wounds and rolled a six. And the source score veteran of Connoisseur only has six, at which point the Lizardman player has decided that a good night's sleep is worth more than dragging this out. Flash wound, club hit, Connoisseur dies. <laughs> See you guys next time. With the death of the Connoisseur at the end of turn three, both players have decided to terminate the game. There were no precise point calculations, but it is pretty sure that Timo has won with a decisive victory for the Ogres. So it seems that the Ogres led by Timo are continuing their rampage throughout the old world. In the near future, Timo and I will face off. This time I will be using my Tomb Kings. Perhaps I will be able to put an end to this Ogre menace. But we shall see, of course. Anyway, guys, if you did like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. It helps the channel out so much. And thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you next time in the world of legend. Until then.